All right, so uh, welcome to the second part of the Schubert seminar with uh, Christian Lenar telling us about uh, the Chevalier formula for the semi-infinite flag manifolds. Please go ahead. Okay, so let me share again the screen. Okay, so, uh, so I want to now explain the various ramifications of uh, of these formulas, which uh, we developed since we came up with the formulas, and then there is also some very recent work here. So, first I'll explain the. Um, uh, the link to representation theory of quantum affine algebras, which is actually the source of these uh, of these formulas, these formulas, the, actually the source of the combinatorial models, which first came up in in this representation theory that I started developing with uh, Naito Sagaki, uh, Anne Schilling, and, and Mark Shimozono since uh, about ten years ago. Um, and, and then they were translated these models to Schubert calculus, as I've shown here. Um, and then there is interesting combinatorics of the quantum Malkov model, which uh, I explored in, in a separate paper with uh, some, some of these co-authors. Um, and then you can also give um, Chevalier formulas for, for partial flag manifolds in the quantum K theory of them. Uh, there is also an inverse Chevalier formula uh, for the semi-infinite flag manifolds. I'll explain in what sense inverse. Uh, and then there are more specific results in type A, as one would expect, uh, particularly related to the structure of the uh, t equivalent quantum K theory of the usual um, um, flag manifold of complete flags in C to the N. Uh, and then I'll say a little bit about the uh, quantum equals classical phenomena. So let me start with the representation here. So for each uh, Lie algebra, we have uh, associated affine Lie algebra. I'm not going to define them. Uh, and then we have uh, a quantum affine algebra, which is a Q deformation of the enveloping algebra of these affine algebras. And then for, for a dominant weight uh, of finite type, so this is what we call a level zero weight in the affine setup. And for some affine ball group element X, we have the corresponding de Mazur module. So this is a, there is a plus and a minus version of it because um, uh, we can act with, uh, with the positive or, or the negative part of the quantum affine algebra uh, on this vector, which is the X translate um, of, uh, of a vector V lambda of weight lambda. So this uh, this sits in inside the, the module V of lambda. So we have this de Mazur module. Um, and, and V of lambda is called an extremal, uh, level zero extremal weight module of weight lambda. Um, and then um, uh, I'll state this, uh, this theorem uh, that I gave with uh, Kouno and Naito and then I'll explain more about the representation theory. So if you have a, a dominant weight mu and, um, and this uh, element of the affine ball group X written as W times the translation, and then we have some other weight, now an arbitrary weight lambda, but such that mu plus lambda is still dominant, uh, then we can consider a lambda chain gamma. Uh, and then we have this formula, which expresses the graded character of the de Mazur module uh, for, for the affine ball group element X and, and uh, extremal weight mu plus lambda uh, in terms of the graded characters of, uh, of these um, negative uh, de Mazur modules for, uh, for mu. And, uh, and the sum you see here is exactly uh, of the form given by the Chevalier formula for the semi-infinite flag manifold. So you see here all these statistics, uh, down, height, uh, end, weight, and so on. And you see the double sum that, that I showed before, of one sum over partitions, these tuples of partitions, and the other over the objects of the quantum local model. And, and we have this close link because uh, what really make, makes the link to representation theory between Schubert calculus and representation theory is, is what makes the link in the classical case too. It's this borel weil bot theorem and uh, Kato, Naito, and Sadaki came up with uh, a version of this theorem for the semi-infinite flag manifolds. 
and and this allowed one to make the translation from representation theory to Schubert calculus. So so we have this. I don't have time to say more here. Um, but uh, then I said that another ramification is related to to combinatorics. And in particular, it's related to the independence of the quantum Alcott model from this lambda chain uh, that uh, that we choose at the beginning. Uh, so remember, the input of the model is is some W and some weight lambda, and and then we choose the lambda chain gamma, and then we have these statistics, uh, weight and height and down. So we can define a generating function over the the set of uh, the family of admissible subsets, W admissible subsets of these statistics. And then part of the proof of uh, my proof with Naito and Sadaki of the Chevalet formula for the semi-infinite Planck manifolds is that the generating functions of these statistics are, are independent of the uh, lambda chain. So if you consider two such chains, gamma one, gamma two, uh, then the generating functions are the same. Uh, but we also um, we also realized this uh, equality in a combinatorial way with Kouna and Naito. So first we assume that uh, gamma one and gamma two are related by a so-called Young-Bassett transformation. So this is this is very simple. So you just consider um, um, a segment of the lambda chain, so consecutive roots in the lambda chain that. Uh, are the positive roots of some rank two root subsystem, and you just reverse this uh, segment. So this really corresponds to a Coxeter move for the um, reduced decomposition of the uh, affine bulk group element, uh, which uh, which corresponds to the lambda chain, because I said that a lambda chain really is a reduced decomposition of some affine bulk group element. And then applying uh, applying repeated such transformation, you can transform any lambda chain to any other because Coxeter moves transform any reduced word to any other. Uh, and then if you look at the admissible subsets for gamma one, gamma two related by such a transformation, you notice uh, you notice quickly that they don't have the same cardinality. So we cannot expect a bijection between between these objects. Uh, but luckily, uh, uh, there are these. Um, these two authors, uh, Ilse Fischer and Matthias Konvalinka, uh, which defined what they call a sijection, a bijection between sign sets, uh, which, which still realizes um, um, in a combinatorial way the, uh, the correspondence that we need here. So basically the, the sijection takes care of the cancellations that, uh, that we need and also uh, bijects the remaining terms, the ones that are not canceled between the left-hand side and, and the right-hand side. So a sidejection does two things, cancellations plus bijection. Uh, and, and we actually constructed an explicit uh, sidejection between these two admissible subsets and also showed that the sidejection preserves uh, statistics as they should. Uh, and this is called the quantum young baxter move. And then, of course, uh, you can apply repeated uh, sijections like this to relate uh, any two, the admissible subsets for, for any two lambda chains, gamma one, gamma two. So this is, uh, this is the content of another paper. In some sense, these uh, young baxter moves, they, for people who know tableau combinatorics, in some sense, they correspond to, to je taquin on, on, two, on two columns in a, in a young diagram exchanging two columns by je de taquin moves. Uh, and then another ramification is about uh, partial flag methods. So we consider here parabolic subgroup corresponding to some subsets of the simple roots, PJ. Um, and uh, here we gave, uh, here we kind of have to go type by type. So we, we give cancellation free formulas for T equivalent K theory of uh, G mod P in the following cases. Uh, so in types A, B, D, E uh, for Grassmannians, uh, so J is I minus uh, some, some root K in the case where omega K is minuscule. So this is uh, different than the formula given by Anders, Leonardo, Chaput, and Perrin. Um, then in, in type C, we, we extend it to any Grassmannian, so to 
to any any root k alpha k, uh, and then we also gave such a formula for two step flag manifolds. So for uh, for i minus k one k two. And uh, and we verified that in uh, in the non-equivariant case, we uh, we our formula is equivalent to a conjecture given by Wei Hong for uh, for any partial flag manifold in the non-equivariant case. So the the proof is is what you would expect. Uh, we start with the Chevalier formula for uh, quantum K theory of G mod B, and then uh, there is this uh, other famous result of Cato, which uh, uh, shows that there is a surjection to quantum K theory of the partial flag manifold. Um, so we can we can push the, our formula, Chevalier formula, to the partial flag manifold. The only problem is that many uh, cancellations occur. Our formula for G mod B is cancellation free, but when you push it to G mod B, you have cancellations. And, and then you have to perform these cancellations in a combinatorial way using some sign reversing evolution. And eventually you are able to state a cancellation free formula also in terms of the quantum alcohol model. So that's where we are here. Uh, then I talked about um, an inverse Chevalier formula. So uh, you can really view the Chevalier formula as I've written at the very beginning in the case of G mod B. So in the classical case, you can view it as a change of basis formulas, uh, formula. So basically you have two Z bases for T equivariant K theory of G mod B. So, so one is the, the usual one, uh, Schubert classes times equivariant coefficients E to the mu. Uh, but you can also take another basis as uh, Schubert classes times classes of these line bundles, LM. And then you can ask about expressing the, the basis on the right-hand side in terms of the basis on the left-hand side. And, and that's the inverse Chevalier formula. And in the finite case, it was explained by Mathieu that uh, the coefficients in the inverse Chevalier formula are basically uh, the ones from the original Chevalier formula just re-indexed as, as shown here. So inverses of V and W appear. And mu and lambda are are switched on the top. Um, but if you go to the semi-infinite flag manifold, then the inverse Chevalier formula is of a completely different nature than the than the original Chevalier formula, and in fact, it's um, uh, it's more involved. And and I will show in a little bit uh, why such an inverse Chevalier formula. Um, is, is really useful. So we'll see in a little bit a concrete application. Of it. So anyway, uh, we derived such a, a formula. Actually, first it was derived uh, um, for fundamental ways by Kouno, Naito, or and Sadaki. And, and then we uh, we defined it, we we derived it in a more general setup for for arbitrary weights uh, with the Naito, or and Sadaki. But the, the combinatorial model uh, is more involved. As I said, the formula is more involved because the combinatorial model uh, is, is not the, just the quantum Alcott model. It's the original model together with some decorations. That's why it's called decorated quantum blocks. So we have a paper on this. I don't have more time to explain. Uh, and then I said that... Uh, uh, there are more explicit uh, results in in type A. So um, so in type A we take SLN mod B. So with FLN is the usual variety of complete flags in C to the n. So here if you if you take some degree d1 dn minus one, then the Chevalier coefficient uh, is denoted n s k w v and d. So this is the coefficient of the Schubert class indexed by w multiplied by um, uh, by SK and, and take the coefficient of uh, the Schubert class index by V and, and the part corresponding to the, to the degree D. So it's, it's basically the, the coefficient of, uh, of this term in the expansion of OSK OW. And, and then we, uh, we showed that uh, all these Chevalier coefficients in type A are zero or plus or minus one. Uh, and and they are explicitly described, so we can explicitly say when they are one or negative one or zero. Um, 
And then I will go back to some uh, quite older work with Maeno, where we define these, um, uh, these uh, quantum K analogs of elementary symmetric polynomials. So EPK is the elementary symmetric polynomial of degree P in X1, Xk. And then there are some, uh, some quantum analogs of them, which live in this ring Z of Q and X. Q is the uh, n tuple of, uh, of the quantum variables, and X are the usual variables, X1, Xn. I'm not defining it here. And, and then if you put a bar on it, it just means that you set, uh, you set Qn equals 0. And then there was this old conjecture of Kirillov and Maeno, which gave a presentation for the quantum K theory ring of the ordinary flag variety as the quotient of this polynomial ring by the ideal generated by the uh, by these quantum elementary uh, monomials uh, indexed by I and N. And you have to take them with the bar. So, so we, we proved this as part of our quantum K Chevalier paper. Uh, now, this presentation was uh, extended to T equivalent quantum K theory of the um, complete flag variety by Maeno Naito Sadaki. And what's interesting is that in the non equivalent case, we actually use the Chevalier formula in proving this presentation. But uh, in, the, um, in the equivalent case, uh, they used a different method and they relied on the inverse Chevalier formula that I explained before to obtain a relation which uh, eventually yields the presentation. Um, and, uh, and then also Ikeda, Naito together with Ikeda and Ivao, they gave an explication to the explicit construction of this uh, K-Peterson isomorphism, which I mentioned before, uh, for the K-homology of the F and Rest model. And, uh, and their explicit construction involves this uh, relativistic uh, Roda lattice. And it also involves uh, some objects which are called uh, k Catalan functions, um, which arise, arose in recent work of, um, um, of Blasiak and others. So, so there are nice, uh, nice applications of the Chevalier formula in, in these directions. Uh, and then I'll also refer in type A to these uh, quantum growth and polynomials, which I defined also quite some time ago with Maeno. Uh, basically, we, we define first um, a quantization map, like in the quantum cohomology case, which, which takes a, a standard elementary monomial, a product of these, uh, of these um, elementary symmetric polynomials in variables x1, x1, x2, x1, x2, x3, and so on. Um, and we replace this product with the, with the, we replace each uh, small e with a capital E, with the quantum angle. And then uh, with, with Maeno, uh, we did the same thing that forming the Alpha-Posnikov did for the, to define the quantum Schubert polynomials. We define the quantum growth and deep polynomials by uh, applying this quantization map to the Lashkur-Schützenberger growth and deep polynomials, G. W, um, and define the quantum growth in the polynomials in this way, as polynomials in variables Q and X. And, um, and forming Gelfand Postnikov, of course, showed that the quantum Schubert polynomials represent Schubert classes, and we conjectured with Maeno that the, the same is true for the quantum growth in the polynomials in the case of quantum K theory. Uh, we, we didn't get there with my NOE, but we proved this theorem that uh, the quantum growth in the polynomials, uh, uh, they, they multiply, they satisfy a version of the Chevalier formula, uh, which, is, uh, which is exactly the, um, the, the one shown here in, the, in type A, uh, the one that's obeyed by the actual Schubert classes. The, the same formula which, which we assume that would hold for the Schubert classes, we actually show that it, it holds for the Grothendieck polynomials. And, and that was quite a difficult proof. 
Uh, but once you have this and, and you compare now the, the two Chevalier formulas as, as being the same module or the ideal, so you have to also work with the ideal, uh, then, uh, then you can show that the quantum growth and polynomials indeed represent Schubert classes in, in the quantum K theory of the type A flag graph. So they can be used exactly like one uses Schubert Grothendieck polynomials, quantum Schubert polynomials, and so on. They can be used to, to compute uh, structure constants for any product, because this Chevalier formula just gives you a very special product. And this result was uh, extended to t equivalent the uh, K-theory of the type A flag variety by Maeno, Naito, and Sadaki. Uh, and uh, and there they showed that uh, these quantum double growth and polynomials that I also defined with Maeno in my original paper, they also um, represent Schubert classes uh, for T-equivalent quite quantum k So, So this brings me to the last ramification. Uh, I'll say a little bit about the this quantum equals classical phenomenon. So this happens uh, when a cohomology or a K-theory Gromovitan invariant equals a classical or a degree zero invariant. Uh, so this was proved by uh, Anders, Kresch, and Tambakis for quantum cohomology. Uh, and then uh, in uh, quantum K-theory, uh, Anders and Leonardo made this, uh, this conjecture, which is um, a K-theory analog of this phenomenon. So they... They conjecture that they conjectured for for G mod p. So if you have two lowest coset representative uh, modulo the the parabolic uh, subgroup W lower p, and and you have a, a simple reflection which is also a lowest coset representative and and a degree d d one d n minus one, uh, then they conjecture that the uh, uh, Chevalier type. Uh, um, quantum k gram of bit invariant corresponding to sk and some vowel group elements v and w given here, uh, it's equal to uh, one of the following. So if uh, dk, if the uh, kth part of the degree is bigger than zero, then you just get a two point uh, gram of invariant of degree d, which is zero or one, turns out to be always zero or one or it's equal to the degree uh, zero invariant for these vial group elements, where V of minus D, um, I don't have time to define it explicitly, but uh, its definition uh, involves the so-called Demazur product. And it corresponds in geometric sense to, uh, to what is called the curve neighborhood of a Schubert variety. So for Schubert variety uh, XV, uh, the, the curve neighborhood is, is another Schubert variety indexed by this V of negative D. And this was proof for uh, Kominsky Grassmannians by Anders and Leonardo, and uh, more recently by Wei Hong for the incidence uh, flag manifolds of type A. And it's interesting, a very recent uh, result of, uh, of these people is that uh, uh, in the in the case of the of the complete flag manifold type A, um, this conjecture implies a presentation uh, of quantum K theory of uh, of this complete flag variety, uh, which is different than I want than the one I talked about before. Uh, it's different in a sense. It's um, it's more natural because the relations here are just uh, deformations of the classical K theoretic uh, Whitney relations. So if we if we so having this conjecture is important at least because it uh, it implies this uh, this nice presentation. And I'll remark that the conjecture is related uh, to the quantum K theory Chevalier formula because uh, um, the quantum K Chevalier coefficients are related to the respective uh, K Gromovitan invariants uh, via a complex formula which is due to given. So this was part of the original construction of quantum K-theory. And I'll just end by saying that uh, with uh, Naito Sadaki and, and Wei Hong, uh, we are now working and are close to a full solution in Taipei. 
and we'll explore other types as well. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll hopefully have uh, have a paper on this uh, soon. So I'll just uh, end by uh, giving some references. So there is some older work here on, for instance, um, quantum growth and leak polynomial. That's a well-known old paper. Uh, then the quantum Alcov model, I defined it uh, in, in paper with my student, Arthur Lubovsky. Then there is some representation theory. Uh, and then there is the more recent work on the, on the Chevalier formula, inverse Chevalier formula, uh, the combinatorics, the parabolic version, and, uh, and hopefully the quantum equals classical phenomenon to come. Okay, so thank you very much. I'll end here. I think I'm right on time. I might have not left much time for questions. No, oh, thank, thank you very much for a beautiful talk. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, and please feel free to ask questions.